Hi, this is Andy for DigitalTrends.com and I'm here on Ubuntu stand at Mobile World Congress and we're going to take a quick look at Ubuntu Mobile running on a smartphone. Okay, show me the best parts of Ubuntu Mobile. Okay, so this is the welcome screen and basically this is not a lock screen. Everybody keeps trying to do that. It's more an infographic, so it pulls kind of your data usage. It could be linked to Facebook or Twitter. Um, so it just serves up different messages based on your content and usage. If you double tap on that, that message will change. Unlike a lot of the other operating systems, there is no kind of hard keys or buttons on the start screen, so all the okay. navigation is done through the various corners of the device. The main launch bar comes in from here. You can move up and down. It's exactly the way our desktop um, launch bar looks as well. Um, the main settings actually come in from the top of the screen. So as opposed to going through multiple settings and menus, it's quite easily at your disposal from here. So for instance, if I wanted to check out my network connections right here, and so all of them would appear here, and then I can simply slide it up to get out of that settings menu. If I go back to my main launcher bar, this little Ubuntu icon at the bottom is, gives me access to my apps page. The top bit reflects kind of my more recently opened apps, and if I scroll down, those are kind of laundry list of apps that I have on the device currently. This bottom section, eventually, when we do launch, will be kind of where the app store would be stored. Um, on the top, what I will navigate to now is kind of something we call scope. So an example of a scope would be a music scope. Um, what the music scope is, is essentially consolidation of all my music content. So it might be music I've downloaded to my device, it might be music in my personal cloud, it might also be a playlist through kind of like Spotify and Deezer. Um, if I press search, I can search through all that music in one go. So if I put the word Josh in, for instance, it would bring up all those albums by the artist named Josh, and that okay. would be across kind of my playlist as well as kind of my music apps. And that's only one kind of possible app, uh, scope that could be created. You could do it for videos, it could be content. So we've also developed a scope for uh, World Cup, and that would pull in content generated from multiple apps into one place. So that would be everything that you need to know on World Cup. So the current news, highlights, latest match scores of players. Okay. And you can create those yourself? You could create them yourself, so it would be either developers, they would create a series right. of apps and there would some, be some layer on top, or we could right. work with OEMs and operators to do so. Um, if you go back to this little device right here, you can see this is on our apps page. These are all my recently opened apps. If I open Sudoku, for instance, but then I want to see what other open apps I have, you can see that they kind of make a nice kind of fan effect. Um, and then I can simply get in as so. If I want to close any of them, I just jump into my Ubuntu icon, I press down on it, and a little X side will come and I click out of it. Um, I think probably the last thing to show is probably the gallery. Hopefully that's working fine now. Um, this will be where obviously all my photos are stored. The last particular bar we have, so we've already gone through navigation from the left, from the top, and from the right, is the bottom one. And from here, obviously, you can edit your photos, you can add them to your gallery, you can share them with friends, and you can delete them as well. And that's basically Ubuntu for phone. That's great. Thank you very much indeed.